how's it going? You still doing the podcast? And I was like, what the fuck? That's, that's kind of like an insult though in itself. Are you still doing it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only every week, mate, you know? I, I, you know, I can't sleep really that well. No. Right, ever. It was weird last night. Do you ever have those continuing dreams where you know you wake up, you go back to sleep and you continue the same dream? But I, had, I was having this dream last night like, that I was watching like, some girl that I used to date cut grass. I can't, can we clip that? Can we clip that? Are you send it to visit, attack Mrs. Me? <laughs> if you want, man, just, you should f- kill me. But like, <laughs> you, told, you can't help what you dream. I've a f- told them. I'm like, I mean, I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. And in the words of Thin Lizzy, the boys are back in town. The historic market town of Morley. Stop telling people where we are, man. Well, you know, I, I was thinking the other day, it's amazing. We said it so many times that we've not had like mobs baying outside, <laughs> throwing their underwear at us, trying to get in. You know, like when Taylor Swift goes to like a restaurant and word gets out and like the, the street's fucking full of people. Yeah. Like why, that, that, that hasn't happened to us. It is amazing considering the following that you have. <laughs> Do you know yeah, I mean? but nobody, I never mentioned a podcast, so nobody even knows I do this. <laughs> yeah, look who's laughing about that. <laughs> what a fucking prick. George, can you turn my headphones up a little bit? We've sworn three times in the first 20 seconds. Like, demonet- demonetized. Right, you're going to have to beat them ones as well, George. We need all the money we can get. Oh, that's better. Cheers. I, I can't, I've, if those that listened last week will remember that both these guys were super ill. Yeah. Now they're fine. And guess what? Guess who's sat here drinking Lemsy? You don't, you don't seem that bad though. You're no, quite feel, eject this morning. I feel, I feel just a head half cold. A, yeah, head cold. Sound like I've been on nose beers. That, that will be demonetized now. <laughs> what the fuck's nose beers? Bugger sugar. You know, Colombian. Bugger sugar. <laughs> Colombian marching powder. <laughs> oh, drugs. Drugs. Nose beers? You never That's had a, proper crap slang, that. Nose you never, beers. You never had a nose beers? No. <laughs> like, what is this? Why, why bugger sugar? It's sort of bird. <laughs> yeah, right. It's sort of bird. I like that one. Though. That's kind of got a nice. Bugger, I like. It's got like a nice little kind of musicality to it. Nose beers just sounds crap. <laughs> anyway, uh, how you been, mate? It's been a little while. Yeah, it's, I, these they, we always say that, right? And people will be like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" It's here every week, but like sometimes that's that isn't the case, and yeah. they, they come out. I don't know every ten days, uh, but we've actually spent longer apart than 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 that. Uh, so yeah, how you been? Right, Apart from being a little bit ill, uh, a little bit ill, but we're, uh, we're we're doing well. If, before we get into the thick of the conversation, that I think we need to go back to our old style. We need a bit of discipline in this podcast, don't we, George? Yeah. This should be your. This is your job. You're supposed to keep us on track. I just let you guys talk and just, just don't let it because like it, I'm not. I'm also not getting lured into him going. How you been this week, buddy? When really you don't give a bollocks. That's part of like what we what we do now. And you can tell me, you tell me like, oh yeah, I did this and I filmed this. And admittedly, I don't care. But like, it gives you a bit of mystique, doesn't it? So people, instead, if people are new to it, they're like, not who is who the fuck is this guy? They're like, oh, this guy like film shit. So he's he's like a somebody. <laughs> so it gives you an opportunity for you to like state your case for who you are. Yeah, I've, we've got a Channel Four documentary series. I know. Like- I was watching the footy the other night, um, and uh, it said I'm sat there watching it, England, Italy. And um, wh- whoever was doing the commentary, I forget who it was. He's like, uh, all the all the episodes of Stage to the Cage are available now on Four on Demand or whatever the fuck it is. And I said to Linz, I said, that's what Josh filmed. And she's like, who? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, Josh. She's like, oh, Josh from work. And I'm like, well, no, not really. He's not from work. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was cool to get. Like, I mean, you're, you're on like international football coverage they're not obviously shouting you out by name but what you have done is, yeah. on, is on there that's, that's an, a, an achievement to, to uh, feel some accomplishment this in. must be it this must be the start of, of success George this was where it feels like well, it's, it's the end though isn't it because you still yeah, you can't, can't do it anymore, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we finished it we finished the series um, which you know it's been a good year on it but, but speaking of success I've actually been recognised twice in two days can you believe that how fucking, how wild is that? Maybe that being mob will be coming to the, I know. the, the studio anytime soon. Like, uh, yesterday in Starbucks, the yeah. lady behind the counter at Starbucks was like... So you beard makes food to Kara. <laughs> <She went, laughs> do you do some YouTube stuff? And I went, sort of. <laughs> she went, if you call it that. Yeah, she was like, do you do uh, stuff with that beard guy? And I went, I do do the stuff with the beard guy. And then this morning in Tesco's, I was putting some fuel in the car. I went in, got some some yogurt on your recommendation, a bit of fudge. A fellow behind counter, <laughs> it's what? good stuff. Fudge, <laughs> fudge yogurt is the best. A fellow behind counter were like, uh, "How's it going? You still doing the podcast?" And I was like, "What the fuck?" That's, a bit of, that's kind of like an insult though in itself. Are you still doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Only every week, mate. You know. <laughs> yeah, clearly don't listen. Anyway, nice to meet you, mate. Um, so yeah. 
That's, that, is that what, that what it's like to be you? Just mobbed by uh, people uh, going, I, I, think I, rec- uh, I think I recognise you. Yeah. yeah, people put on that foot as if they don't recognise you, but they yeah. Are you that, you're that, oh, what's it, beard meets, yeah, you, you, you do that as well. <laughs> has, right? has anyone ever recognised you as someone that you're not? Sadly, no, which is weird because, well, not weird, but like, I want somebody, there's this guy that um, makes YouTube videos eating stuff called Joe Burger Challenge. I don't know if you want to look him up, George, but he looks identical to me like eight years ago, you know, when I had the mohawk. Oh, yeah. Um, so I commonly make jokes about him being like, <laughs> like if you ordered me off wish.com, that's what you get, right? Um, but I've never, I want somebody to say to me, oh, you're that, you're that Joe Burger Challenge guy, but I'm not Spanish, so I'd have to be speaking Spanish to convince him that, I suppose. Of that. You can rattle out a few words, though. Just no, I don't look who I look like, though. I don't look like anyone else, really. You look like... Mm, no, you do you look like a bit of food. All that fight fell off Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's pretty close, actually. Yeah, yeah. At the time when you had that haircut. Yeah. Let me see. Turn your laptop around, if you can. <laughs> we should be like other podcasts where we've got... Fucking hell, yeah. If you, like, <laughs> at a distance. I, like, I look at that going, that's, that's one of your thumbnails. <laughs> Like Imagine me, but like even uglier. No, I'm, joking. I'm, only, I'm only joking, Joe. He's a he's a nice fellow as well. A funny story about that, real quick, is when I went to um, I did one video. Uh, where, I don't know what the fuck I was, but like I did this video right. I walked in and, and I'm like, I'm here to do the the burger challenge, and the guy's like, again, and I'm like, nah, I've only been in, in Tennessee for like two days, and he's like. Nah, you were last week. I was like, I fucking wasn't. <laughs> and anyway, so I go and cook. And it turns out it was Joe Burger Challenge had been there like two weeks before me <laughs> and filmed it. Uh, I reckon he's like playing the game. I reckon he's, he's grown that beard out because he's like, I'm going to hack the system. Yeah. <laughs> like that, if that's not the best hack I've ever heard, I Head look start. just like Beard Beats Food. I think he's been doing it longer than me. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. So if anything, I'm, maybe if I'm I were him, I'd just copy your style of videos. They're and- uncopyable, mate. What <laughs> you can't you can't copy you can't that's that's like a, it's like saying uh, you know try to try I, I, fuck I don't know but like I, there's a, there's a you could copy him if you want Joe to, Burger yeah. Challenge <laughs> drop us a message we'll tell you what his his, his sequences <laughs> get the camera this fast like this close to your face on yeah. the widest one you, look if look if away from the camera if like what's it. going on guys <laughs> oh yeah no you, what you want to do Joe is take lessons and vlogging from this guy Whoa. so guys we're staged to the cage today <laughs> look there's twelve people in the audience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, moving swiftly on, let's do the YouTube comments. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. <coughs> Why are you always winding me up, man? I was in a good mood this morning. Absolute chaos, absolute chaos. You've come in full of, full of beans today, you. Mm. You have a lie in this morning. When I messaged you, you said you just got up at like quarter to eight. Yeah, I've got, I, I've, I, 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 you know, I can't sleep really that well. No. Right, ever. But look, I think I was just so knackered from, because I've been in Norway, right? We've yeah. not even mentioned that, but I've been in Norway, right? And I was so tired on getting back that the two nights back since then, I've slept really well. Wait, no way. It was weird last night. Do you ever have those continuing dreams where you know you wake up, you go back to sleep and you continue the same dream? A couple of times that's happened. Yeah. I just, uh, hopefully- It's normally bad ones, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the ones that you don't want to continue. Yeah. But I, had, I was having this dream last night like, that I was watching like some girl that I used to date cut grass. Was she <laughs> naked? Like Stacey's mom? No, no, mom. no. Stacey's mom. It was just, this is like 20 years ago. Like she was just cutting grass and that was the whole dream. It felt like I dreamt that for like nine hours. <laughs> Had you seen her cut grass previously? Or no, I've never, seen that. I've, I've never seen her cut grass. I've, ne- I've never dreamed, I've never, I haven't, <laughs> dream, I haven't dreamed about her for like, for, you know, I don't even remember, well, I remember her, but like I just started dreaming about her and I'm in this house and I'm like watching her cut grass through her, you know, like, um, you know, you get blinds, those shit yeah. blinds and I'm like peeking. <laughs> right, George, we'll do a YouTube comments in a minute. We need to get into this. Right, I don't So I, which house are you in? I was, I don't know, I was in a house which I felt, I got the sense it was in Headingley. I don't know why. Okay. But that, that alludes to me being younger, I suppose. You get a lot of student housing in, in yeah. Headingley. And I was in this house, but the whole dream, it felt like the dream went on like all night and I woke up multiple times because I'm old now, so I need to wake up to go piss like three times a night. But the whole dream was me just watching her cut grass, like up and down. She was cutting it with good technique. Like, you know, she was doing the proper stuff where you go up and down so you don't get like patches. What, what was she wearing? Just like normal, normal gear, like a uh, like <laughs> like a, uh, a top which kind of exposes your shoulders. Oh, but, ooh, but not that's like not not like a bikini or anything. Just like regular jeans. No, yeah, but like old school, like uh, what's that program that all? Like, the- if Mrs. Bird watches this, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm in the doghouse. What's for like that a program month. that Bridgerton? Like she had Bridgerton vibe, did she? A little bit of cleavage. No, no, no. Like like a just like a, a relaxed, like a straight cut top, which oh, yeah. just slightly has the, the. So I remembered it very well. <laughs> um, and yeah, but the, were you upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. You were downstairs. Yeah, I was downstairs. I was like at eye level okay. in the dream. Yeah, but it was it was relentlessly just. I don't know how big the garden was at this place, but she was just cutting the whole 
dream was me just watching it cut grass. <laughs> we need to get, if there are any people out there that like study dream analysis, <laughs> I, I think I would love to know what that means. It's kind of a bit sex pesty, if you ask me. <laughs> you yeah, like totally. ruined it. Did you wake it. up with an erection for the first time yeah, in but I, 20 I don't years? <laughs> my, my, do, my, my morning glory is actually quite well preserved. These, these days I'm doing all right. You know, I wake up and it's there. It's just, that's the, that, you don't really need it at that time though, do you? You need it when when the, when you get the call from Mrs. Beard. Yeah. That's when you need it and that's when it's unreliable. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what that dream meant, but uh, it made me sleep very well. So hopefully I have the same dream tonight. God. I was having a bad dream the other night about like, I can't even remember what it was about, but it was scary. And then... I was woken up by, I've got like a clothes. What are your ex-girlfriend not <laughs> cutting the grass? I've got like <sighs> a, I've got like a clothes rail, but I hang on the clothes on and stuff. And there must be a little bit too much on it, too much weight on the front. So it just on its own went, <laughs> fell over right next to my bed. And I was like, you know, when you sort of wake up to a loud noise and you're like, <gasps> it's just like, <laughs> I was like, what the I fuck? I can imagine George and it, it, it took me like five, five minutes. minutes. I was like looking over at it and I could see it. And it took me five minutes till I realised what had actually happened. He's dead out of bed. He's yeah. under covers. I'm not, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not committed to this. No. Yeah, right. It, it's funny actually, we're going to talk about sleep talk. So two or three nights ago, about one o'clock in the morning, Danielle like wakes me up and, I, and I'm, I was fast, I was dead to the world. And she's like, Tilly's playing with the doll's house. And I'm like, what? <laughs> So it's one, at one o'clock, it's yeah. spooky, man. So we've got like a like a monitor in a room and Tilly's like playing with like the doll's house and, you know, next to her bed. And I, and I said, right, well, go tell her to go back and get back to bed. And she's, uh, Danielle was terrified. She went back in. She went into her room and said, get, get into bed. And uh, she said she was terrified that Tilly was going to turn around and say, but I'm just playing with the other girl in the, in the room. You know, just, <laughs> Bitch, man, one o'clock in the morning. She's playing with the doll's house and pretending she's playing with another girl. <laughs> Or one of them, um, scary, that, yeah. what they got like skin changes or something where it's like, it looks like your daughter, but it's not your daughter. Do you know what I mean? Have you seen those videos? No. No. And what? also like, let's not get into supernatural shit. Cause it's, I, I just don't buy it. Like, that's like literally, <laughs> you know, we go see, a, go see a house. There's a churchyard within like 500 yards. Can't live here. Why? Dead bodies. Yeah. The dead mate. <laughs> what about the ghosts? Ghosts don't Pe- exist. Peaceful, quiet. Yeah. Fuck right, man. I'd live in the middle. Like if I said to her, actually, if we got one of those houses, you know, where they're on like an Indian burial ground and nobody buys them because like they think they're haunted. I'd be straight in there, man. I'd be like, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know if I can tell this story. We might have to, we'll decide afterwards if we're going to cut this story. But it's not a bad story, but Paul Smith, the comedian, mm. he was, he'd been looking for, he'd been a bit like you, he's been looking for houses and whatnot. And he found a, a nice house uh, and it had a church next door and then a graveyard pretty much at the bottom of the garden. Same, um, I, I just went to see that one in, anyway, sorry. It might be the same, like, same, him, possibly I doubt same. it, he's probably got a lot more money than me, go on. And, uh, but he said he took his son and his son's non-verbal autistic. Right. So for him to obviously like try and resonate with new things is a difficult task. So he, would, he was taking his, his son to this house a couple of times to sort of get a feel for it. Yeah. And every time he went, he said, he'd just go into the house, go out the back door, walk to the bottom of the garden and just stare at the graveyard. And he was like, he'd just sit there and just stare. And he said he did it a couple of times and it bought it to me. He's like, that kid's seen some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, okay now. <laughs> so I, I've got a feeling that that might end up in his set at some point. So I don't know if we yeah. can talk about Maybe that, but I will like laugh like, in my head off. Ask him in the I will interim. ask, I'll ask him. <laughs> but I'll like, I mean, it's not going to ruin us. Like he sells well, no, out yeah. like 60,000 seats. Yeah, he's got to do the news. And I'm sure he can tell it much funnier anyway. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> but how wild's that story? Right, do the YouTube comments. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we've done 20 minutes already. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> We're just going off, off the beaten path. Have you seen all those other podcasts and they've got like proper structure to them? We're just like, <laughs> right, okay. First YouTube comment from Camp3950. My eight mile cycle commutes to work aren't the same without a substantial amount of negativity from Adam and the wait for Josh to drop in a cock joke slash comment. Keep up, guys. Pun intended. Good, day. It's good that one. What's the next comment? Hold on. You've. Destroyed my train of thought now. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Like, if you could see inside your brain, it'd be one of those monkeys clashing symbols. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, That's your brain, mate. My brain's full of my ex-girlfriend cutting grass. We've, we've established that. <laughs> oh, okay. Adam's, Adam's wet dream. <laughs> right, next comment. I, I can't, can, we clip, can we clip that? Are you send it to visit, tag Mrs. Weir? <laughs> if you want, man, you should fucking kill me. But like, <laughs> you, told, you can't help what you dream. I've a fuck told him. I'm like, come here. Hey, babe, you know what I was dreaming last night? I was dreaming about this like girl I used to date. She was cutting grass. I spent nine hours like, I slept like, I slept like a bit of it just thinking about up and down grass. Oh, mate. 
That's weird, that. I know. I know it's weird. That's why I brought it You've got to keep all this in, George. <laughs> all right, next comment from Don't Rump 901 Many thanks for cranking out an episode while y'all were sick. Gents, it was a great episode nonetheless. We still are. Yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate that. I don't think it was a great episode, but we appreciate you saying so. <laughs> and the sickness continues. And last comment from Matsky. Josh should really participate in November this year. Would be great banter to see what kind of moustache growing abilities he has. We did say that, didn't we? I, it's... Yeah, I ran it past the, the wife and she said, absolutely not. So consider it done. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, well, you're taking orders now. No, I'm like, 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 I think about growing a moustache. She's like, no, please don't do that. So that means I'm going to do it. I think you'd look yeah. all right with a moustache. I wonder how little tech to come through, you know? I don't know. It depends how quickly you grow. Uh, I, th- I feel like yeah. this part of my facial hair grows faster than this part. See, I'm the yeah. opposite. Oh, really? Yeah. Most people are the opposite. It's like most people grow the moustache before the rest. Oh. So that maybe you can, maybe you have to just have mutton chops or something instead. <laughs> like that fellow <laughs> who used to do racing. Remember? Yeah, John McCreary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Is that all the comments? That's all the comments. Um, bad news, mate. Somebody's beaten your, uh, your cake record down in Landan. I know those people who mess- messaging me like, do you think like I had to stop at 20? I stopped at 20 because we've fucking, we've right been now, filming for all fucking day and blew it out to get off to go <laughs> wherever he was filming. Uh, so people are like, oh, you need to go back. I'm like, man, maybe I will go back. But if I go back, it'll be in two years. I'm not going to film the same content. They only beat you by one. So maybe if someone beats you by like five or six. I'll wait until like it ticks up and then I'll go back and do 30. If it makes you happy, I'll do that. You know, <laughs> I'm not sure it'll make shot caller over here. So it makes me laugh. I need to go back. I just filmed that video, man. Like, I'm not going to film the same thing again. Yeah, but come on, mate. Your upload schedule. If we film it now, it won't go out till 25 anyway. You could be dead. Like, we could, like, <laughs> if you just give us a, like, manager's <laughs> access to your channel and you snuff it, we could just continue it on anyway. Just the make f- sure the uploads go out. <laughs> <laughs> they already scheduled. It's fine. It's, it's, it makes me laugh. You know, when I, when I post it to Facebook and those are, like, after they've got up, yeah. like, three months after they've got up on YouTube. So once from Canada, like, going up on Facebook, people are like, yo, can I meet you? I'm like, that was almost literally a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was nearly a year. If you die, can we literally take over your channel for a year and just post what no. you've already done? No, you we, destroy we it. can retire with the money. You destroy no, I've, it. You're dead in a manner. I've seen, yeah, well, it does matter though for posterity. I've seen what you, I've seen your, uh, go on. No, I can't, I can't say that. Your, your filming ability is very good. In fact, because you've, <laughs> you've filmed a few videos of my channel, but. We've filmed the most popular. Oh, is it there yet? Have we, have we ticked that box? <laughs> Not quite. Not, it's, it's stuck at 10 mil for, for some reason. <sighs> Notice that. It'll um, spike again. It, speaking of like the time of, of what it takes for it to go up, I, uh, I was a bit, st- <laughs> what, I, a YouTube <laughs> video or somewhere else? His erection and his YouTube videos. Um, I was thinking, I was watching your channel yesterday. Oh yeah. I did a bit, Cheers, of, bit of free time and it was the sub one that's just gone up like two days ago. Oh, from uh, New Hampshire. Yeah. Was, yeah. And I watched it and I'm like that opening shot. So the opening shot where you sat there and you were like, this view's too good not to get a drone shot. On the balcony. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck me. You showed me, you were so happy with that six months ago, you showed me that. <laughs> they lived, honestly, it do you remember? Six months, jo- it was like th- four months ago. It must have been like, between four and six months ago. It's like, look at this transition. Look wait, at this shot. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, steady on. You, you're making out like I'm happy with the technical accomplishment. What I said was it looks really nice. Yeah. It was because we were having a conversation about, I, we, I've got this theory that, for some reason, light looks different in America. Even if it's a yeah. gloomy day in America, it looks nice. But that was a really nice shot, wasn't it? Yeah. And I thought, oh, that's it's a perfect place to just bang, <laughs> get the drone back. I'm, I'm, I watch it on telly. And I'm like, I'm a deja vu going, I've seen this <laughs> like six months ago. <laughs> that's, that's what it takes, man. When you care uh, about your audience, that's what it takes. That's what people don't realise. Love it. Uh, like when I edit Stage to the Cage and then I watch it going out, yeah. it's like, oh, I edited that a year ago. Yeah, people are saying, <laughs> yeah, people are saying to me, like, when what episode is out now? I'm like, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. 10, 10 episodes. Did you get it? 15 in the end? Yeah. Yep. You met your agreement. So can't believe it. Unbelievable. Baby, we yeah. did it. There is no red panties. <laughs> you, you were supposed to have like a big celebration when it was done, weren't you? It's all, it's, with the last one, we just waited for... Uh, like the tick, the sign off, and then it's and done. Then, don't we go out on the session? Yeah. It's do, am I, even though I've not been involved in it, <laughs> am I allowed to come with? Yeah, you can come. We're, we're, it's, it's George's birthday this weekend. Oh, is it? Yeah. How, How old are you going to be, George? 25. 25. 20. Oh, 25 is a solid age, you know. I wish I could be 25 again. Really? Yeah, I mean, like like on holiday, you know, a bit like Total Recall. Uh, yeah. I don't mean I want to be constantly 25, but like just go back there for a week. Yeah. What about, also, George's, for those that are listening, George has got a new band. 
What's the, what's the band called? Hubalooba Band. Hullabaloo. Hubble Hullabaloo. Hubble that can I say it? Hullabaloo. is quite easy to say, mate. Hubble-ab- say again. Hullabaloo. 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 What does, does that mean? mean? It means commotion. Yeah, there's a bit of commotion, a bit of a racket, a bit of a like a bit Hullabaloo. of a uh... Where can they see you? Uh this Saturday on my birthday, we're playing. Working on his birth, this guy. Yeah, well, no days off. Well, I, prefer, I must say, George, like the, the cover you did of the Miley Cyrus song was excellent. Like the way he said that, right? <laughs> Miley the way Cyrus. He says I that. don't mean that sarcastically. <laughs> like, I shared it on my Instagram what, story. Which song was it? I don't well, know. I was. Can we, can, am I connected <laughs> to I don't the, know why it's like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Am I connected to the roadcaster? Just have a look. You can connect to the it. Only, the only thing I know about Miley Cyrus is when she's in that film... She's in that film and that somebody proposes, it's a Christmas film and somebody proposes to the fiance asking Miley Cyrus to do it. Are you connected or am I connected? I've disconnected. Press the uh, Bluetooth button on it. It'll mean it's, uh, there we go, Roadcaster Pro. What the fuck is that film? Which one? There's what? It's, it's a Christmas film, right? It's like, it's, Seth Rogen's in it. Uh, and uh, who else is it? Joseph Gordon-Levitt, is he in it? Um, and they Christmas got, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go to this party at the end and he's broke up with his girlfriend and he wants to get her back, who was played by Lizzie Kaplan. And uh, so I've got the information to find out what it is, actually. What's the Instagram? Uh, sorry, Hubble Blue. Search Hubble Blue, you'll find it. How do you see How are you struggling that? with the word Hubble Blue? Give me fucking phone. <laughs> oh, uh, Hubble Blue. But anyways, at the end, he asks, uh, Miley Cyrus is playing at this, this secret party that they got into and he asks Miley Cyrus to propose to this girl that he wants to get back together with. Not seeing it. Oh yeah, I don't know that. There goes his copyright. It's <laughs> a big good this George. How good is George? I'm getting slightly aroused. Is this is what it's a love making song, isn't it? I can hold How good were that, mate? <laughs> oh, you tell you what, that was really good. And you've got, you do, it, the reason I say, the reason I didn't say Bruno Mars is that uh, you sound a bit like Bruno Mars. Do you I, think? Yeah, I've, that's, and that's a compliment because he's a great. Well, I'll uh, take that. I don't like Bruno Mars songs really, but like he's a very talented musician. You ever see him do the Super Bowl halftime show? No? no. Well, I was watching, I don't really, I'm not in the NFL, right? But I, 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 we have a habit, some of my friends are, so we'll watch the Super Bowl, right? If I can be asked, and uh, this one year he did the halftime show, and I'm like, oh, I don't really like Bruno Mars, you know, uh, that much. Not as a person, I'm not really into his music. Yeah. And then he like he played, uh, he's playing guitar and whatnot, which I didn't realize he did in his songs. And he's obviously good at singing, very soulful voice. And then halfway through, he does this fucking drum solo, yeah. and I'm like, shit, this dude's got talent, you know. Yeah. So fair cop. To him. That's like just play everything, Kai. Yeah. Bit like, bit like, bit bit like, like George. <laughs> But like me as well. What, what, come on, let's, let's do some more plugs. Are you doing like weddings? Like what's the, what's the... We're available for weddings. So if anyone wants to book us, let's you go. can uh, find us Gorgeous on Gorgeous George. Is, is George paying us for this? <laughs> <laughs> our first sponsorship. We've got, we've got to help him out, haven't we? Like he's a, like that, that. When I listen to that, I'm like, fuck, he's talented. We still, we have with Alan, we know George. We've never watched him play once. Oh, you need to give him a pay rise so he stays there, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Rock and roll. Um, I was flicking through Facebook as well this week and uh, weirdly a picture of you popped up and it's like a suggested group. And I don't often go on Facebook. Oh, mate, don't give me... But there were, it literally said Beard Meets Food, 22,000 members. So there's a group on Facebook dedicated to you. What do they talk about? There are a lot of people spamming it with shite. And then the one guy <laughs> that took a selfie with you on a plane. So that got a lot of likes. On a plane? Yeah. Let's get it over. I should look. Probably not you. I should <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 it's Some kind of selfie with like Joe the Burger Joey's Man or whatever it's fucking called. Beer. My sister once did that. She once came over and said, I got a picture with Billy Connolly today. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't Billy Connolly at all. My dad was laughing at him for about like three hours. <laughs> Just relentlessly laughing at him. Oh, I said 25,000 members. Oh, mate, look at this. That's the video. <laughs> look, you should get spammed. <laughs> Is that somebody just like playing with a sausage? Yeah, that's weird, that. Oh Internet's goodness. a weird place, isn't it, man? That's why I try, I try to spend a lot of time not on it. Let's see if I can find this selfie. It's just... Oh, there we go. I don't actually remember that. When was that? Uh, on the 11th of October. 11th of October. So... Uh, <laughs> it's some ginger fella. It must have been when I was going to know with them, right? Somebody's commented saying, yeah. Beard went back in time and met a young Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, it was, not, it was when I was going to know yeah. Yeah, weird. I, I do remember that, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not, none from the fu- I went to, fu- to see funeral for I don't go to live gigs man anymore uh, I'm too old before you went away wasn't it yeah my back doesn't hold up but I went to I love uh, funeral for a friend it was the 20th anniversary of their album uh, Casually Dressed so they were playing in Leeds so I went and I've never I've never been recognised and asked for pictures as much in like a sh- that short space of time ever it was it must have been about 40 people. Yeah. Which is really nice to meet people and stuff. But I was like trying to go incognito. It was like in the corner. But naturally, I'm getting a bit carried away. And I'm shouting along the lyrics and whatnot. Like, yeah. <laughs> and people are like, fucking hell, what's, is that beard? So it was nice. If you, if, but I'm surprised there aren't any pictures on there of that. Because a lot of people took Maybe they just put them on their Instagram rather than like the weird or maybe they just, Facebook group. Maybe after they took them, they're like, well, why did I take that? He's just a man. Delete, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and in other news, uh, I woke up this morning, right? And I... I it was early doors. So I put, um, I, just, I literally just put the telly on and Good Morning Britain came on. <laughs> and of all the things that's going on in the world, which don't, we don't want to talk about, guess what the headline was? Something to do with celebrity YouTube boxing. Cat breaks world record for loudest purr. <laughs> and they're in, a, they're in a full-blown interview. There's a cat like lounging on a bed and then the owner just sat next to him being interviewed by the Good Morning Britain panel about the loudest world record purr of this cat. How loud was it? I, don't, I mean, I didn't watch it, but like, I just couldn't believe that this is the state of the... Of the I mean, it is, that's good morning Britain, isn't it? I mean, they've got, there's got to be a bit of levity in there um, amongst all the bad shit happening in the world. <laughs> How loud can a purr be? Look, that's quite impressive because a purr is kind of like a... Can you Google that, George? No, it's like a, like a bird's hoot, isn't it? What's like a purr like? <laughs> it sounds like an owl. I'm to, yeah, I'm trying to do a purr like... Come on, you, you've got this, mate. <laughs> Oof, what happened? No, that was just trying to unclog my nose. I can't purr. I'm not a cat, but... It's a sound which uh, you, doesn't doesn't seem like it I should be loud. I think the first one went that far off. Do it again. <laughs> it's like a, a beard ass. I can't do it now. You make me like, <laughs> no, I can't. Like, <laughs> come on. It's going to keep, we'll keep talking. Josh, do your best purr. <laughs> We're both doing Ooh, the same that, shit. That, that, that was pretty close, that. <laughs> oh, he purred out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Adam. <laughs> the room's tidy. Fuck's sake, this is like, that's it. Everyone's in the tree now. They're like, oh, fuck So it says the cat's a 14 year old cat. It's at four, 54.6 decibels, equivalent to the noise from a boiling kettle. <laughs> what a specific <laughs> type of comparison. I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, kettles aren't that loud, are they? But yeah, well done. Well done, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Spink, the cat's proud owner, said, I couldn't be more thrilled that Bella has broken the world record. My God, has anyone, you know, that's just got me onto. In my head now. It's good you we don't actually have a talking point this week. <laughs> Has anyone seen the advertisement? For it? it's like a perfume. It's cocoa uh, uh, perfume. Co- <laughs> 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 this is wait, where's the sound effect, George? Can't world you do that class, one? world class. Yay! Yay. <laughs> uh, there's, there's an advertisement on TV, right? I've only seen it kind of pretty late at night, um, but it's um, it's for a perfume, Coco Chanel, I think. And it's like a model and it's like, it starts like any other normal perfume advertisement. And she's, you know, she's smiling and doing the pouting and stuff like that. And you're like, okay, I get it. And then at the end she starts crying and you're like, okay, this advertisement's t- taking a weird turn. And she's like, I couldn't be proud of to be the new face of Coco Chanel. <laughs> and you're like, what? Can you imagine me just kind of going like, like vans get me to do like advertise <laughs> the fucking shoes or whatever. And I'm like, I couldn't be proud of like come off it man you advertise the product <laughs> if anyone sees that advertisement tell me it's just me being weird or if that's like a I've really not seen this ad. Ad. but maybe she got that much money she's just like crying maybe with happiness possible. yeah I mean like I suppose if you're a model that's like the peak I guess yeah Co- well I don't know what the fuck Coco Chanel peak. is it sounds like a drink to me what, what is Coco Chanel I guess Chanel's the brand right I guess so I don't know what Coco means maybe it's like a chocolate flavour chocolate flavour yeah. chocolate flavour Chanel <laughs> chocolate scented Chanel <laughs> at this point if we were good Host, we could be like, let us know in the comments, but we don't actually care to you. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> us, yeah. um, you said that Rate My Takeaway has been in the news again? <laughs> Does he? Well, <laughs> according you, to our why, group why, chat. Why are you laughing, George? Why on earth are you laughing? I don't know. You tell me. Friend of the show, Danny. What, 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 what's he been I, in the news? I don't news know. For? I'm waiting for like, I'm just, I, 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 I just read the notes. I'm you reading the notes. Pull it up now. <laughs> I don't know, that'd be better. Oh, I sent it in the chat. <laughs> 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 I'm like, what the fuck is uh, I sent it. Uh, oh, you went to a Pontefract pumpkin patch. And First gave, gold star. Gave, oh, is he div- divvying out gold stars now? <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Maybe we could get a, you know, like Michelin stars. We could get one of Danny, Danny Malin's gold stars for the, for the podcast. 
Uh, Are you doing a collaboration with him? He keeps asking when I see him. He's like, no, no, no. It's, now then, guys, get me out. Speak to Adam. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, well, everyone, I, I, I'll say uh, uh, to be, I, I was, I'm not a great food reviewer. I mean, I could be. I've got the, I've got the vocabulary to be, but I just tend to say that's yummy. Yeah, delicious. And delicious. The drinking game of, uh, scrumptious. of fans. Uh, delectable. And that's I just, synonyms for delicious. I just use those. So I don't think I'll be great on the channel. And also I'd be a little bit, probably more, I'd want to be more critical. So I, it would be fun for me to turn up and he goes like 10 and I'm like, nah, three out of 10, mate. Yeah. It's shite. You like the heel. Yeah. But I don't, I don't really want to do that. So yeah, no. Oh, it's, pe it's, pending. Um, speaking of uh, people and collaborations, guess who I'm potentially filming with tomorrow? <laughs> if they're not a footballer that you don't know? Don't know. No. Who? Paddy the Baddy. Oh yeah. So I'm filming it next Get year. Get him in a fucking arm bar. Yeah. <laughs> and when he t tries to tap out, don't you fucking let him in. Snap it like a fucking yeah. twiglet. Yeah. There's like every <laughs> chance that I'm going to get that black belt UFC fighter in an arm bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you take him, take, take him by surprise, mate. Go in there. She, oh, Paddy, nice to meet you. Yeah. He's a professional fighter. No, like he will not be surprised. Yeah, well, I've seen you rolling. Now uh, <laughs> but yeah, I might meet. The man, the, the myth, the legend that is Paddy the Baddy. Yeah, we tell him to stop getting like random media agencies to, to email me and say, can we film something with Paddy, please? <laughs> yeah, because I've, I've already tried. Not because I'm reluctant to, but, but we already tried. Yeah, so. We'll make it happen. I reckon I just need to get in front of him and be like, listen. Wait, no, it needs to happen before he gets sparked at the next UFC event, because then the hype train dies. <laughs> oh, you can't keep this in. <laughs> Gosh, you can't. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he's fighting Tony Ferguson. It's a tough fight, that. I know, he's going to get battered. Yeah. <laughs> Can you at least be a little bit on the fence? <laughs> <laughs> I think out of both them, man. he's got the best opportunity of winning. Who? Paddy. Yeah, but I mean, just, I, 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 what, like, I, like, I like to be contrary, don't I? I'm just, what I'm yeah, saying but what is- what if you have to meet him now? Paddy? He, he's, he's a fan of you. Like, I know he's, I, I'm, only nice I'm, about I'm joking about it, you know? It's just because, like, like I said, we try to, <laughs> arrange, I realise it's difficult with a fight because they're trying to- I think weight. what we should do is if we do get him on the podcast, we're not getting on the podcast. Fuck, fuck like, the podcast. Fuck, podcast. Fuck, we, George, we George, ever. fuck the podcast. I just wanna, we just want to film a video with him for my channel. All right, so he'll never come on the podcast. So hypothetically, if he was to come on the podcast, <coughs> it would be funny if like me and you, Josh, like had a word with him before and then go, right, when you go in there, like, <laughs> pretend that you're really offended by what Adam said to you. Yeah. And like- I Choke him out. Yeah. Choke him out. Threatens him. Do you think- I, would, I, would, I could tell you right now, I wouldn't, what do you think would be quick in my boots? <laughs> I said, put me out my fucking misery, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it quick, will you? <laughs> See if you can do it quicker than Lynn's did. <laughs> <laughs> she was pretty quick, man. She'd be even quicker if I told that story about me dreaming about my ex-girlfriend cutting fucking grass. <laughs> Should we fish hook him in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not off tonight. She's like, fucking Adam. Wake up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Paddy the Baddy tomorrow. Um, Christmas dues coming up. Wait, wait, what are you filming with him? Are you, oh, are you sorry, not say No, no, we're filming um, Oof, it's getting a bit warm one of his right teammates. Now. He's um, fight, he fights for Octagon. So we're fil I'm filming with a guy called Shem Rock. But obviously they're both in camp. Shem Rock? Is he yeah. Irish? He's not well, Irish. Scouse. Scouse. Oh, I feel like you could. Um, he was on not Team English. He was on Team Island mm. for that Octagon Challenge. Yeah. I felt like no. What I'm think, getting at is that's a good like, you know, Shamrock, Shamrock. Yeah, you could make a thing out of that. Yeah, because his name's not Shamrock. Oh right. Uh, what is his name? Steve. I can't remember what his name. <laughs> Steve is. Smith or something. You Google it. Google it. Um, but I think he ended up. It, there's a long story about him. He's a cool guy, but he ended up getting chased by police and then he had to, he left the country and I think he ended up in Ireland. I think he got arrested in Ireland, but then all charges were dropped eventually. Um, but they were on the run for like eight years. So, so there was like- On the run for eight years? It was a long period of time. It might've been eight years. It was a long period of time. You, you, you do well on that. What's that show where they have to avoid like- <laughs> Yeah. Do well on that, not it? Rock, whose full name is Shakim Rock. Shakim Rock. Moved, awesome. moved on to Malaysia and it would be seven years before he'd be arrested in the UK where he served six months on remand in custody. That's a cool yeah. name, isn't it? He sounds hard, Shaquem Rock. Yeah. He's hard. Yeah. Nice guy, sure. actually. He's great on the mic as well. Yeah, he is. He's proper entertaining. Yeah. Good guy. So yeah, filming with him tomorrow. Filming with um, potentially Paddy, because I would imagine he's in the pro class with him. And uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, Christmas due, right? You, give, you were giving me shit on the old Instagrams earlier this week, weren't you? Was it? You, you slid him in DMs. Saying, I don't, I don't remember saying that thing about my sake. Away. <laughs> saying that like I was at the gym and you're like, you need to hit the racks, mate. Yeah, so, it's like encouragement. All right, okay, yeah. So I, 
I said, obviously, we've mentioned it before, but I think we're going to have to get this booked, the old uh, Ninja Warriors. Oh, man, I thought mean, Chris was doing some good out for a few beers, not like we have to do stuff no, yeah, hard like, work. No, but we're going to have a day. We're going to have like a... Lad, a fun, somebody's getting injured. If we're we start with Ninja Warriors. We're going like, to start somebody's somebody's not making at lunchtime. We're going to start, we're going to do Ninja Warriors, then we'll go get some scran, and then we'll go on the night out. That's the Christmas do. <laughs> That's the plan. I, I feel like somebody's getting an injury. <laughs> yeah, you, because you're old as shit. Yeah, it might well be me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but yeah, cool. Yeah, all right, man. There's one in my grand's house. So that, where, where do you want to go on Christmas do? We, got, like, we need to pick a city. What the fuck? Where are we going to go to Liverpool? Go Leeds? I don't really want to go to uh, Liverpool. Where are we going to go to Liverpool? We, we, I, I th- we did say Liverpool. Yeah, well, I'll go wherever you want, but it feels like a commitment, doesn't it? I can't get a taxi home. We've got to stay in a hotel. So? Or I could get a taxi home. So what, it's two hours? <laughs> but, if I'm yes. home early enough. You don't nah. want to... Nah, nah. Nah. Nah, mate. Nah, like. I, I think Liverpool would be a good shout. We'll go to Liverpool. Mike still, Tory Mike still won't turn up. <laughs> yeah. uh, as I don't know boys you know because i got a kid now right yeah, you've got a wife that can like take care of the child for one night <laughs> oh, but I don't know boys because you know I'll have to wear me fucking face mask you know <laughs> <laughs> that was three years ago what you talking about he'd be, be getting the snaps he'd be overexposed on his iPhone by fucking 12 stops <laughs> come on lads get in oh fucking hell I fucking overexposed it here lad <laughs> everyone's listening going I don't know what the fuck he's on about. <laughs> this is like all inside joke, inside sorry, digs sorry. Uh, from uh, between Adam and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. How's, uh, how's house hunting going? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me about Norway then. Uh, not well. Oh, I forgot you went to Norway actually. <laughs> not well, not well. The, the house, I think it's pretty much on old now. That new segment of the week. Yeah. <laughs> that could be that the Adam Morant's part that we've not done for a while. Yeah, no, it's not going well. I've not. I've never been away. I've enough for a week, so I've not seen any new yeah. houses. I uh, I was watching um, Damien's channel yesterday and his mate Sasha, and uh, it sounds like he might be in for a bargain next year because inflation's the state state that it's in as, as it stands because of houses, mm. and it's only it's only getting worse. Yeah, so well, that's that's been my rationale to like almost every state. The one the one I made an offer on, <laughs> and the guy wanted like a, a ridiculous amount of money, so I offered twenty percent less which yeah. he was unhappy about. That was like a starting point, right? And yeah. I expected to negotiate maybe somewhere about 15, but the guy's like, no, because, you know, he bought it for this and he spent this much on it. And I'm like, look, if I get some solid gold paint and I paint my banister in my house in Cass and it's like a hundred grand's worth of gold paint, it doesn't make my house worth a hundred grand more. Are you dense? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah, I've, 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 I've blocked his number now because I don't want him calling me again. He keeps calling me about like, or the houses. Uh, you yeah. can't buy on. Do you want this system. one? No. Yeah, but that one you put an offer on, he then asked for like 20% more. Didn't he? <laughs> Did you? So it added, it added more than the asking price? I, I, yeah, they just, I've got this theory. Do you have to have a qualification to be an estate agent? Because <coughs> I feel like you just don't. Like a lot a lot of them that I've spoken to just don't really seem to, they don't seem uh, apprised of like general, just a base level knowledge of economy. Yeah, I don't know. So when I say a, a price, like, oh, that's good. I don't know. That's a bit, bit, le- bit too little. And I'm like, no, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, house you, prices are going to go I, down. Like, I'm, I'm not asking for your opinion. Your job is just to pass that on to the yeah. person that owns yeah. it. Exa- <laughs> exa- that's exactly it. I don't care what you say about that. Just pass this on, and we'll see what happens. Lens gets mad now because I've got this thing about like when I go to. If, <laughs> I started it a while back. We went to his house in Peniston, and had this like sheer drop as you went into it, like into the garden of like about twenty feet. And I said. Be handy that though, because if everything everything got too much, you could just hang yourself off it, couldn't you? And nobody would be able to see you from the road. And luckily the guy laughed, but I've then repeated that gag like three or four times just to make Mrs. Beard feel uncomfortable. <laughs> if, if I'm ever at a part like, oh, that's got a bit of a gallery landing, you could hang yourself off that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Adam. She needs a medal, man. You've got to make I it. I don't, she, I don't know how she's thinking, put something you know. It is, it is uh, it's a mystery, yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you find out if. Yeah, you don't need any qualifications to get started. But I if, knew it. If you have a foundation degree or anything like that, like it will give you an advantage. <laughs> in like apparently. design and technology, <laughs> it like making woodwork. <laughs> <DT>. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Uh, George, I've got on my uh, notes the gradual decline of the species. Can you please elaborate? <laughs> Adam, can you please elaborate? <laughs> oh, is that me? So I sent a video of the guy who put, <laughs> spent about a quarter of a million quid on some diamond grills. Did you see it, Josh? No. Nah? The video. Click on the link. It might not come up on my iPad. It's like if Go. Mikey from Shrek got blinged up or something, you know what I mean? Whoa. <laughs> and his teeth are straight like, don't either. Get... Like they've done it and his don't teeth are still crooked. Uh, I don't think straightening was part of the... I mean, like, I don't give a shit. $80,000 diamond grills. Jeez. What are the comments saying? Have you read the comments? He might be like a rapper, though, so maybe we shouldn't be mocking the way that he looks in good, in, you know, in good humour, but might come for us. 
I think we'll be all right. Tell us about Norway. You've been to Norway, mate. Were you yeah. cold? How cold was it? Uh, it wasn't that bad when I got there. Any it, snow? It, no. It's funny that when I suggested we go to fucking Lapland, it's like, lad, we're not going to Lapland. Blah, blah. And then you fucking go to Norway anyway. Almost like I'm the one that's paying for it, dickhead. Um, hey, so, I'm just the, I'm just the, hey, hey, the hey. technical guy. Yeah, I went to Norway. Beautiful country. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to go to Norway, if you haven't been, it's, it's probably the most beautiful country I've been to in terms of like the scenery. Wow. It's beautiful. I loved it. Stayed in the hotel at the top of this like mountain. You could see all this big valley with the fjords and shit. And, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was really, 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 really nice. Ate some reindeer balls, by which I don't mean uh, testicles. Uh, I mean, meatballs made of rain, or not reindeer, deer. Ah. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was cool. Did, shot three videos. Nice, solid, steady trip. Really quite happy with the video. I mean, they weren't like the food. One of them was, like, was pretty hard. But um, it wasn't, none of it was like Norwegian food, right? Um, <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with like, I put a lot of effort into the videos, you know, like big edits and stuff. So. You've edited them already? Yeah, mo- well, I've just got to finish off a little bit with the last one, but the mo- mostly edited. Yeah. It's very efficient, is his traveling, isn't it? Like, he's, you, the fact that you just keep your head down, you go film a video, edit it, go film another video, edit it. Like, That's what on. I like, though. I don't, you know me, I don't like to be, yeah. uh, I don't like to be idle, so I just spend the whole time like working, like relentlessly. But I like that. That's Especially good, if it's yeah. a week, it's, it's much easier to deal with. It's two weeks, it's a bit like... Ugh. Yeah, that's heavy, that. Probably all right, because it doesn't feel like work as such. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, it's enjoyable, but it is... It's, 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 when, you, when you fucking colour grade and you're like, oh, fuck, why is my skin look yeah, so fucking yeah. yellow? <laughs> then it feels like work. Or when you're like balancing the audio or whatever, or like typing the subtitles in. But yeah, I mean, I'm not complaining. So. <laughs> Any like dramas on the travels? No, although on the way back, um, it didn't seem that cold, but it, the flight was delayed like half an hour, which is not a big deal, right? But the pilot's like, uh, there's some ice on the wings. It should be all right in 10 minutes. I'm like, is it like a car? I feel like it's not like a car. <laughs> yeah, it'll be all right. But anyway, like they, we start driving, taxiing down the runway, as I say, right? And we, honestly, we're driving down this runway for 20 minutes. So I'm like, this motherfucker's driving us home. <laughs> fucking driving home and, play. and then we got to the end of the runway. We stopped for 20 minutes at the end of the runway or something like that. And like, it's not going anywhere. Like the runway, I've seen that we turned onto the runway. And then next thing as this cherry pick comes up, like out of the uh, left yeah. window, and it starts spraying something that looks like, I don't know, like, like a kind of gooey, not Antifreeze. gooey, some kind of black substance on the on the wings. I'm like, oh, I guess that, maybe that protects me or whatever. Uh, the, the landing was bumpy as shit as well. You know, like, I'm not like a bad flyer, but you know when you come in to land and it kind of goes a little bit too uh, much to one way and you're like, fucking you know? hell. Uh, when you can see the ground. Yeah, it was, like, a bit, <laughs> it was a bit rough, but you know, it was n- no dramas on the, on the, uh, on the travel now. That is nuts when you go out to them, them country. Like when we went to Iceland, we landed and it was like sideways snow. And you're like, how is this even possible? Like there's a bit of snow in England and like- Everything's cancelled. Are, everything's cancelled. And they're just, they're just not a deal with it. It is terrified. I would be terrified though. Fuck when, that. When I got the rental car, she's like, well, you know, it's getting cold now. So we recommend you do this with the tire pressure. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. not paying any attention to that, but uh, I didn't crash or anything. Quality. What time are we on? 43 minutes. Woo. I've enjoyed this. We've not really talked about anything, but it's just been a nice little conversation. What else have we got to talk about, George? Uh, do you want to check Instagram? Oh, just yeah. Put a thing up on there, didn't you? I, I, I just put a little post on Instagram. Not a post, but a um, one of them Q&A things. <laughs> Whoop, there goes George again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the band, George? Do you want to like, be like a Bez? Play like Maracas or something? Yeah, sure. You can do it if you want. Right, look right. So, right. so you if, if that'll get you to one of my gigs, yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd come on your gigs anyway. I just don't know what like you don't, you're not you're not really the kind of person that talks about. I'm like, I th- would it no. psych you out if you saw me in the crowd? Would it what? Would it psych you out? If you're like, oh, fucking hell, Adam's here. No, it won't bother me at all. Uh, all right. We went to Manchester at weekend, and uh, <laughs> Paul Smith's Mrs. Laurie, she did a first stand up gig, oh, yeah, so she put tickets like out like a month ago, and I thought, ah, oh, like we've got time, we'll, we'll go support that, and I felt awful because it was like a tiny, tiny room. And we turned up, like the show started at half past seven. We walked in the door at 7.31. So she was on stage oh. and I had to walk in and sit like one row back from the front row. And I'm like, oh man, I love this to psych her out. You know, because yeah. like, because we off. know each other. I thought, but she smashed it by the way. She went absolutely natural. She's as funny as Paul. Yeah? Yeah. Does and she the, do like a load of crowd work and stuff. Yeah, but she's so quick witted. Like you can see like her and Paul, like I could see Paul in that, you know, yeah. with how fast she was with like the crowd work and the, the comebacks and stuff. So she did really well. I'm excited to see how her career progresses. Sick. Must take some, oh, take some balls to do some stand up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't do that. 
Nah, no chance. I could try it, with, but I think I would fail quite miserably. It'd be a fun task. Maybe we should do that as like a Patreon, uh, like a, a Patreon task one day. We'll... I think that should be like <laughs> the, forfeit. We, yeah, forfeit. No, one no, of us has to go mate. to like yeah. a stand-up, like open mic or something. Just you know, do I, a set. my tactic there though, I'll just steal jokes from other people. Yeah. Like really old comics. Garlic yeah. bread. <laughs> no, jokes I said. <laughs> so nothing by Peter Kay. I'm off to see Michael McIntyre, actually, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. You know my favourite Michael... The only Michael McIntyre joke I think I've ever laughed at. Not that I think he's bad, so I'm, I'm not really familiar with this material, but I saw him on the TV show one time and he said, people say I look like Piers Brosnan with a mouth full of nuts. <laughs> 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 and it's like, yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe he'll use that one on stage. Or, Poor uh, guy. I think he's probably done quite well for himself, don't I you? think he has done quite well for he gets, himself. He gets on all the, the panel shows and shit, doesn't he? Right, so I, I put on Instagram, just put a little question things on, admittedly about an hour ago, so there's only been five responses. Um, somebody's put, why bother, uh, John Wilson, Wilson, 456, why bother wearing headphones? You're literally like three feet away from each other, <laughs> laughing face. That's more like a fail safe, I would say. So like if anything cuts out, yeah. you'll be like, shit, George, I'm fix it. it. It's more like that, mate. Um, but valid question. And also, like, if you listen to this and I go away from the microphone, it starts sounding shit. So it forces us to make sure that we're within. Yeah, I do that a lot. I'm not even, I'm, yeah. I should have had this a little closer. Actually. So John Wil Wilson, four, five, six. There's your technical answer. I think it was a valid question. John. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, no criticism from me, John. Um, Balcony City. Does Beard not know how to tie laces? Always slip-ons. No, I'm not, I do know how to tie them. <laughs> Um, I just, I'm lazy, right? And I, I like slip-ons because I think the, you, you got more re real estate, haven't you, for design and stuff. Like the laces take up too much. I do have like plenty of shoes with laces. It's just, I only really wear them if I'm going out somewhere, I want to look a bit smarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. got a new house, so Mrs. Beard's took all laces off him. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dan oh, Henderson. Hang on, just before you move on, I just want to show you this, right? So you're on about shoes and that. My dad is well into like proper fancy shoes and stuff. So he buys like Grenson shoes and stuff all the time. I don't know what brand. that is, but all right. So he bought these the other day and he came into my room to show me. And I was like, what is that? I'm going to send it to you, Josh. We'll, over, we'll overlay it on I feel screen. like I'm going to like it. Whoa. <laughs> what the? What, remember that meme? What are those? What, are those? <laughs> what the fuck are those? Those are like the, the things, you know, if you go to a spa, you use them like <laughs> shit crocs, man. What the fuck are they? Tell your dad, come on now, send those back. But, but Grenson, like the brand that they are, they're not cheap at Grenson, like proper fancy. They're honking them, mate. Yeah. Yeah, and no. also, why has he got a landline phone? No, he <laughs> don't use it. Look at that. He, he doesn't use it. It's wireless though. <laughs> and it's not even like, that's not, that, that's not a side table. That's on the floor as well, isn't it? Yeah. What's going on? This picture is, there's so many questions. There's not those shoes. You put that on the now. internet, people are going to go mental. They're going to be like, why is there a landline phone on the floor that's not switched on? Not my house, don't blame me. What are those shoes? Um, right. So the next question, next one was from um, Dan underscore Hamilton underscore Frazier 99. You guys are wrong, exclamation mark. I wait every week for this hilarious shit show to listen to listen on my drive to work. Love it. Oh, thanks, mate. It's because we always say that it's bad. And it is pretty well, bad. Well, it is bad, but I feel like we just kind of lean into like how bad it is. So the fact that people like it generally just means, I think that means that those are people that we would get along with in real life, which is quite heartwarming, you know? Yeah. Like the only people that watch or listen are people actually want to, like, you know, whereas yeah. with a YouTube video, it could just be anyone watching. Yeah. It. it might be people that hate you. So the fact that people actually like it is good. That's good. Right, we've got two in from Matt's Ring, which is quite a funny name. Matt's Ring. <laughs> I'm going to set up an account called Beards Ring. Uh, Josh is do it on TikTok so we can get it verified <laughs> and then people can stop fucking pretend to be me. Uh, Josh's beard growth abilities are as bad as Adam's genetics for height. I'm above average height. I'm 5'10". The average height in England is 5'9". We need, to, we need to get over this, man. You look smaller, though. Because I've got a bit of a hunch. That's all it is, man. Yeah. And I'm compact. <laughs> I'm compact. I'm built for pure efficiency. <laughs> Uh, and again from Matt's ring, uh, the likelihood of this podcast getting a 100k plaque is equal to Leeds United winning the Premier League. I think it's more likely than Leeds winning the Premier League. How likely do you think that is then, Josh? Well, we're already like... With your it. extensive football knowledge. <laughs> and they're going to go relegated, right? Hey, well done, yeah, they did. It. So they're back in the championship. Yeah, doing yeah. well though. Daniel Farker. I so love the way he what? talks. You, you, you know, you, you, Daniel Farker. Did, did you see the thing where he like, the ball came to him and he took that first touch and the whole crowd just went mad? <laughs> and he kind of loved it, didn't he? Yeah, You yeah. could tell he loved it. He talks like, uh, you know, one of the, the Gestapo first from touch, Alala. You know first touches. Yeah. So if the ball comes in the air, yeah, yeah. stops it dead. He did a good one. He's got, yeah. he's got nice hair as well. 
Who's that? Lord Farquhar. Dan- <laughs> Who did you say? Daniel Fuck. Fark. <laughs> Lord Farquhar. <laughs> Why is every reference you make to some fucking kids TV show, kids film? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, right. I, speaking of football, I'm I'm up to date now. So your mate uh, is the goalkeeper for Wrexham. He's helping him win the league. Oh, he's going to try help him win the league. Yeah. Well, you're up to date in the sense that that is no longer the case. He actually retired. <laughs> that we co- we covered this last week. Yeah, but as as I am watching it, All right, he's so just, now, joined just joined. Just joined. The cycling goalkeeper good has joined Foz. Wrexham. Good old Ben Foz. It's that is a cracking program that you know. I, I don't watch them. I can't watch any of that shit. It's really, really good. A bit of sad, few sad parts. But yeah, um, what your the mate, sad parts? Pardon? What the sad parts? I'm not telling you because oh, it's sad. Okay. There's right. too much sad shit that goes on because life. But um, he's joined and he's going to help him win the league apparently. But what has happened was they had like a second, they had a, a number one goalkeeper and a number two goalkeeper. The number one goalkeeper got injured at this one club. <laughs> for two years on the bounce. So he didn't, he didn't, <laughs> that was a weird one. He like broke his wrist. He got knocked out one year. Then the year after he broke his wrist, which set him out for a year. Yeah. So they had the number two goalkeeper in for the, all this season, like 30 games. Then they replaced him for the to f- play this team again at the same ground they got injured at last year. He fucking blew his MCL out, kicking the ball. So then number two goalkeeper goes back in. So he's done like 40 games at this point. And they're that close to getting promotion, and they go right. We're going to get Ben Foster. Is it Ben Foster? Harsh, that's, it's not, it, you can make parallels there. So yeah, Ben Foster to uh, Aaron Ramsdale at Arsenal. You know, he's doing. He's doing I think he's a great goalkeeper, and then they just buy a number, another number one who's not any better in my mind. Quite like Raya, but like that's a, brutal, aren't it? It's one of those positions, it is isn't it? Well, you can't really argue for rotation in and the, the guy, goalkeeper position. The guy comes off really nice, number two goalkeeper. He's like, yeah, it's what's best for the team. I'd be like, you've kind, of, you kind of got to say that, though, haven't you? Yeah, but they were like, oh, Ben Foster's basically like the fucking Michael Jordan of... He'll see that as... It, they, honestly, they were, they were like, yeah. Ben Foster... This is how, they described him as like the the Michael Jordan, the like... It's because they're Americans, they don't really, yeah. It was like, they were saying that he is like the the Kobe Bryant, the... <laughs> who's that guy that plays American football? The, the fullback, the... Tom um, Brady. Tom Brady is like, this is the Tom Brady signing. I mean, for reference, for <laughs> Foster's like a very good goalkeeper. A very good goal. I'm not sure anyone would argue that he's the greatest goalkeeper of all time. In, in the sense that Michael Jordan's the greatest basketball player, right? But yeah, he's a very good goal. England capped, you know, like uh, that other goalkeeper would have probably been all right with it because he looks at that and thinks he's only probably going to be here for a year. Yeah, then they'll get somebody else in. You want there? Well, it's a chance for him to. That's part of the get back into the team. Then after that, when you if you especially if you're seeking like back to back promotions, you've got to realise that every year the team is going to look to improve the quality of players. So if you, there are very few players, for example, maybe one or two I can think of top of my head, who've gone from playing basically non league all the way up to Premier League. Yeah, like Jamie Vardy. Was uh, he non league? Yeah, he played in when they were Fleetwood. Won it? They played for Fleetwood. I don't know who he played for, but he, he played did. in every every uh, every league, isn't he? So, so, but yeah, I mean that's. Comes with the territory of being a professional athlete, I suppose, isn't it? Rock yeah. and roll. Right. Before we go into the fest hall, uh, <laughs> public service announcement. We're going to do extended versions of the podcast on Patreon. So please turn your jacket, turn, the, turn your jacket round. Are for... we going to reveal that when on, on the Patreon part? I don't know. I feel like you can't if you see... want to see what Adam's sure? <laughs> reversible jacket looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay, I didn't pay lip services. This is a... Uh, Matt Heafy of Trivium, the band Trivium, uh, probably not many people know him, but he has like a clothing brand. I forget the name of it now, like uh, Hungry Sumo or some shit, I don't know. But um, I bought this jacket and it's a reversible jacket, so... Uh, it is a very... I, I, as soon as you walk through the door, I compliment you on it. I like the little uh, orange accents for McDonald's. Call it coordinate with McDonald's <laughs> coffee. Uh, yes, what we... Oh, yeah. So, I, But it's reversible and the reversible side's quite gary. So if you want to see it... <laughs> <laughs> no, see, come on see your don't, don't, don't pay for Patreon so you can see a jacket just don't pay for it period but like <laughs> if you think of a, a value exchange of Patreon so like how much does a, a, a coffee cost at Starbucks now it's at least £12 right and Patreon's like £3 for the price of a pint what do you, and you get to see what like the other side of my jacket yeah and we're, we've got some more talking points to extend this oh do we yeah, right, yeah. go on alright so we're going to do the so it's going to be one of them but we'll, we'll do Fessel first Okay. Don't we do that at the end normally? Yeah, this is the end. <laughs> like, this is the end. Yeah, but that's when I start losing Ed when you talk about festival and I just want to get out of the room. So what you're saying, we do the festival on Patreon? No, I think we just, don't we come back after the Patreon thing and... No? No. All right, all right, well, you're the gaffer. Do we do a Patreon? Should we do, do festival? Do we, do we, do we, yeah, but do we do festival in Patreon? That might no, be a good no, idea. No. Nah, nah, nah. Don't take it away from people. Nah. Yeah, but we've got to keep this guy engaged to go on to Patreon. I'll, I'll stay engaged, I promise. <laughs> I'll stay engaged, yeah. I promise. <laughs> uh... 
When I started high school, my big brother told me not to use the cutlery in the canteen because he saw the dinner lady licking the forks clean and putting them back in the tray. Every day I ate with my bare hands, got the nickname Animal, which people still call me today. I'm 39. <laughs> That's quite a good nickname, though. I quite like that. And it, people calling you that at school, people are going to be afraid of you. I bet I was rough, though, growing up having that as a nickname. Animal? Yeah. Because one, one of the, well, I suppose it, Muppets. Muppet, one of the Muppets called Animal. <laughs> 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 Alfred, Alfred. <laughs> he was pretty. the one that played the drums, wasn't he? Animal. Yeah. 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 That were a pretty tame fest hall. Good. Can you, we pick, keep you, all pick, you picked it out, actually. I'm just Weirdly trying to give him head on time. Yeah, the next one isn't. Uh, <laughs> we played hide the shit at uni. The aim was to see whose would stay hidden the longest. The usual places were found fast. Shoes, pillowcases. Mine wasn't found until a flatmate was buttering toast one morning. I hollowed the butter out, shit in the tub and put the butter back. I that think that's fake. That can't be real, you would man. smell if that. So, if somebody had done that to me, you know, I think I would have choked them out. Or I would have done something to them, like, that in sounds like good. That sounds like good banter, that. I know that when we're, like, when lads went to Kos for a two-week holiday, one of them shit in the kettle. Why? Because <laughs> then people are coming after you. They'll make a brew. Shit in kettle, 50 euro fine. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good joke. It's like the upper decker, isn't it? If you shit in the top of the toilet and then they flush it, it goes through. No. <laughs> Do you have no childhood? Yeah, it just didn't really typically involve making subjecting people to my shit or piss. Well, we have to be subjected to your shit. Shut the fuck up. What's the next you one? Sent us, <laughs> you've sent us pictures and videos. Not videos, but just pictures of your shit. Yeah, like the classic the classic explosive shit where right. you bent over yeah. and you fired it against the <laughs> mirror. That was, you've got to admit that was impressive at some level. It is impressive. Have you seen it like when dogs like go up against trees and the shit against the tree is like, <laughs> like a cone <laughs> on the other side. Have you seen it? Videos? What's, no, what's the next one? I think we leave the next one for... No, 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 no. Last yeah? one, last right. one. He's a real gaffer here. So hey. it's in the festival. This is one of them Reddit... Um, what they call them, like Reddit ships or something? I've not like read that. this, by the way. This just got DM'd to me on, on Instagram. Like, okay. Thanks for the people that are sourcing it and sending it to me on, on the old gram. Okay, so this is more of a... Maybe, I don't know what it agony, says. Agony Adam okay. type thing. Oh, right. uh, I have a fetish for women getting stuck. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I have had the strangest kink for as long as I can remember. I'm into women getting stuck in small spaces. Dog doors, windows, bed frames, fingers stuck in a table, head stuck in railing, anything and not being able to get out. The embarrassment, humiliation, struggle, and anger is all part of it for me. The rise of stuck porn <laughs> has definitely helped to normalise it. But the unrealistic situations and bad acting take me out. I am able to have regular sex without incorporating my fetish, but when I masturbate, I basically am exclusively watching real-life situations of women getting accidentally stuck. I do fairly well in the dating market, so it sucks feeling like I have a secret to hide. I guess I'm posting this to continue to normalise an unconventional kink and maybe meet like-minded people. No, this this kid's gonna be he's gonna be on the news in a few years because he's killed someone. You know what I mean? Like that's not that's not normal. You like seeing women in distress. That's that's basically the takeaway, and that's not that's not normal, mate. Maybe Sorry. it's not like stuck in uh, like in a bad like maybe like. Are you ever stuck in a good way? <laughs> okay. This is the best episode we've done. Then. Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll cut back should in. We, uh, should we wrap this one up and then head over to Patreon? Then? Yeah. It's been a, an honour and a privilege. It's been absolutely chaos as well. We'll see you on Patreon, guys. It's where you say peace. Oh, peace. <laughs>